There are a lot of assumptions and myths that climbers take for granted. Things that we have heard and sort of make sense, but never actually get to try out. It looks... <laughs> you look confused. I am really confused. <laughs> and that's why Pete and I decided to put some of these myths to the test, in the name of science. But first, a quick word from the sponsor of this video. So talking about myths, there's definitely no myth that being online can be very dangerous. And that's why it can be a good idea to protect yourself. But you definitely don't want a VPN to slow down the speed of your internet. And that's why using NordVPN, which is the fastest VPN out there, can be a good idea. It's very easy to use. You just open the map, you click on a server near you for better speed, or you click on a server in another country if you want to access content from somewhere else. So right now you get a two year plan heavily discounted plus one extra month for free. And you also get a surprise gift of either one month, one year or two years. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guaranteed. All you have to do is go to nordvpn.com forward slash magmit, or you can check out using the coupon code magmit. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so 10 climbing myths that we're gonna try to either break or confirm. Pete, are you ready? Yes. First one is, you need to have strong arms to climb hard. Do you think that's a myth or not? It helps, but I think it's a myth. Okay, so you can get, you, you'll get to try it then. Yeah, okay, I'll get to try it. <laughs> but you don't need strength to be able to Mm -hmm. It's all in technique and body movement, yeah. hips close to the wall, yeah. twisting, right. that kind of stuff. Rolling of the shoulders, yeah. like that. So that's what you're going to do now. I'm going to roll the shoulders and not bend with the arm. Right. Show that you can climb problems with straight arms. So this one is 6B slash 6B plus. 6B straight plus. So is that already hard enough for the myth to be busted? Uh, well, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, I yeah. guess so. <laughs> you were so confident before starting this that this would be fine. <laughs> okay, nice. Come on. Good. This is good. This is feeling like normal climbing to me, actually. Yeah, it was just that first move. Just the first move, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think for the myth to be busted, you should do something like 6C, because that's already pretty hard. 6C? Yeah, yeah. So if, if you can climb 6C like that, it means that you can climb hard without having strong yeah. arms. Yeah, okay, cool. Like this is vert, if you can do this one with straight arms, yeah. then I definitely think it's busted. The myth, the myth yeah, because this yeah. one looks tricky. Yeah. Because with the steep ones, you can roll the shoulders yeah. and keep the arms straight. So it's actually better with steep problems. I think okay. it could be better with steep problems. Right. Yeah. Which actually is a bit contradictory with the steep ones because it's like yeah, we're, it's we're saying supposed to be more powerful. You're supposed to be more powerful. Yeah. But do you I like Mythbusters on TV? Uh, Just say you do. You, you love Mythbusters. Yeah, 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 I love it. Come on. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone spend this long on a problem. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Go. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yes. Nice. <laughs> match. Okay. Match. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the myth is definitely busted. I think that's busted. That's busted. I don't feel like I was using power then at all. No. On that one or on that one. Good. So that's good, so you don't have to be strong to go climbing. No. Nope. Can you untape for me? Yeah. <laughs> so the next myth to bust is stiff shoes are better for small edges. Magnus, yeah. I think this is one for you. Yeah. Because you love soft shoes. Because you, you originally said that that's not even a myth. Of course, of course it's they're fact. better. It's fact. <laughs> yeah. But I think my brand new Scarpa shoes are gonna do pretty good on the tiny edges, just because they're new and they have like an edge to them. We need to put on some really tiny holds though, right? Yeah, we do need to put on some tiny holds, which is why we have some tiny holds here. So we're gonna go for, I've selected 
That's specifically for you, these two edges. That one's not too bad, that one's very thin. <coughs> We're gonna put some low crimpy undercuts on. So it's like a it's like a powerful pull and you're like standing through the feet. Okay, so you're first gonna try soft shoes? Yes, soft shoes. These are probably the softest shoes I own. Okay. They're like slippers. Yeah, I could wear them around the house. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds? Yeah, it's not like the... Um, well, that's good. I mean, the foot was rolling Yeah. a bit. Well, that's perfect. That's what you want, right? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I mean, you want to fail with the soft shoes. Because you want to prove that <laughs> stiff shoes are much better. I do want to prove that stiff shoes are much better, yeah. <laughs> and also, for those of you who don't know, like soft shoes is mainly what you use to climb, just like steep climbing, athletic climbing. And heel hooks and toe hooks and stuff so it's just and like for volumes and yeah volumes and smearing like, yeah. and it's just a different style it doesn't mean that soft shoes are not as good as stiff shoes it's just different you styles. use them for something else yeah. four five six seven eight nine nine i mean it's not like any of them popped off though was it no but you got tired in your foot or what what was it or hands or what was it I'm not sure, maybe it was the... <laughs> you, you look confused. I am really confused. <laughs> I am confused. Because none of them were, were really totally giving out, mm. I don't think. I'm not sure what's busted there. Yeah. Is the myth busted? I don't think so. Because you wanted the stiff shoes to be better. Yeah. And I don't. So I'm going to try it now <laughs> with soft shoes. <laughs> okay. And if I can beat your nine seconds, then yeah. the myth is busted. Uh, then the myth is busted, yeah. yeah. But the myth is not really busted either because these are almost brand new. So they have a very nice edge to them. Mm. And I think that's what's going to save me. Because I do agree that like, off, like stiff shoes are better on really tiny edges normally. But I do think that when they're straight out of the box, they might be able to compete with your stiff shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a lot. That was 11. 11? Yeah. Oh, the... But that was painful. Oh my goodness. I think that's the biggest difference. For stiff shoes are not as painful on tiny edges. <laughs> but soft shoes can be almost as good or even better sometimes <laughs> the myth is busted the myth is sort of busted <laughs> next one yeah <laughs> were you surprised um no i, I, I don't think i was surprised because i don't think the the holds were bad enough for the right. foot to blow yeah because neither of us our foot actually popped off yeah. um, or rolled off we actually stepped down because I don't feel like we're quite as scientific as the actual show of Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're kind of the light version of yeah, it. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. But, but we can say it's, uh, it's vaguely busted. Yeah, it's vaguely busted. Vaguely. Next one is warm up the rubber of the shoe for better stick. Uh, so when you're outside especially, often the, the shoes are cold and I feel like they're a lot less sticky. So now we're going to put it to the test and see if that's actually the case. It's like what they do in Formula One. With the tires. So they heat the tires of the car, don't they? Yeah. I do think that a cold shoe could be good on tiny edges, but on really like where you need a lot of surface, I definitely think that the cold shoe is gonna perform a lot worse. Why a cold shoe for tiny edges? Uh, because then it's more stiff, so it keeps the shape <laughs> better, you know? <laughs> it's more stiff? Yeah, if it's cold. Yeah, you know, you know, if you climb thought, for a long time. I thought you like soft shoes on on tiny edges. No, no, I like I like stiffer <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I like stiff shoes, but uh, yeah, for tiny edges, I actually like stiff shoes. <laughs> but they, I think it's more important with the edge around it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. new shoes on tiny new edges. New shoes, new shoes. I think that's the key, and then it doesn't matter if they're soft or hard. It's a little bit confusing for the people watching, but just follow us. Oh, so this is the this, this is, is the, the warm shoe, the, the warm shoe. shoe. Yeah. Uh, it's not super hot, but it's definitely a lot hotter than the other one that's outside. Yeah. The hot shoe definitely feels a lot nicer. <laughs> it's a lot easier to put on. So, Wh which one are you on? This is the hot shoe. Hot shoe. Yeah. <laughs> it actually is a really big difference. It is. Yeah. Yeah. 
really big difference. Yeah, so that myth is definitely not busted. That was good, actually. That, that looked, was good. That looked proper. You slipped off straight away. Yeah, I felt in control, but then I just... Okay, the next one is figure four is useless if you're strong enough. Okay, I feel like this is your one. Yeah, we can both try it, We can actually. both try. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess some of you watching don't know what a figure four is. Uh, it's a move that is often used in ice climbing. Pete, you've done a lot of ice climbing. I've not done any ice climbing. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Hang on, it's using like ice climbing dry tooling competitions. Yes. It's yeah. not using any no, of the ice climbing that I've done. <laughs> Some people use it for sport climbing as well. I've heard that if you're strong enough, it doesn't make sense because you can always just campus the move and it's going to be easier. If the hold is bad, you could always do this and like pull. I would say going from this and up to there, okay. that could be figure forward. So do this and then I use the other foot. Yeah, I can go up here, but not much higher than that. Now I'm going to try to campus it. See if it's Let's see the magic. easier or harder. <laughs> it's definitely a lot easier. Yeah, that looked easier. Yeah, I can even go further, I think. Oh, that far, you want to try it as well? I mean, we talked about this earlier. There might be some moves that are still easier to figure for, but I can't really think of any moves that I would rather figure four. Yeah. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I'm weaker. I'm weaker though, aren't I? It probably f it probably felt easier campusing that. Yeah. It did. It did. Because you do spend campusing. a lot of time setting up for a figure four. You do. Yeah. And also getting out of a figure four. Yeah. We can try one more to see. Yeah. Should we try another one? Try to find some like a move that you think is actually easier to figure four. Go on. <laughs> that was like on the limit of figure four, I think. Yeah. Especially on that steepness because you couldn't use the bottom foot. That was, uh, that was a reasonable distance as well. So, so it kind of looked the same for you to campus or to figure four that one. Yeah, yeah. If I was fresher on the climb, mm -hmm. campusing would be easier. Yeah. And if I was more tired, ah, figure yeah. fouring would be easier. It's much quicker just campusing, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty, it's far distance. Yeah. That was easier for I'm me. I'm not gonna lie, that looked that easier, easier for you. That was easier for me to do figure four. Yeah. So the myth is busted. It's not, or I mean, maybe if you're super strong. I am not, definitely not the strongest, so. Hang right on, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, but I, th I think the myth is busted. I think that on some moves it is easier to figure four. The statement was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the statement was it's, it's easier to campus. <laughs> It's easier to campus than it is to figure four. So it's uh, busted. It's easier to campus than figure four. But it's actually easier to figure four than campus. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that. I'm lost. You're lost. I'm lost in the myth. That surprised me the most, that one. Mm, because you thought it was going to be easier to campus. I thought every move was going to be easier campusing. Mm, well. You learn something new every day, <laughs> I guess. You do. <laughs> yeah. We'll see a figure four and everything now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So the next myth that we're gonna bust is, or see if we're <laughs> yeah. busting. We don't know if we're <laughs> we don't know yet, is uh, tight shoes are good for climbing. So the tighter the better. Mm. I'm gonna try once with the tightest pair of shoes that I can get on my feet. Yeah. This is a 39.5. Feels off. <laughs> 38.5 is the next. You should also tighter say the better, the... isn't it? So. That's what I used to think. All the cool guys would have the smaller shoes. So when you are putting tight shoes on, a good trick to do is use a plastic bag and then put that over the heel. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. So this is the tightest that is, shoe I that I couldn't get into this. That's a 38.5. Yeah. And now you need to try a problem that really requires technique or like standing on your sh on your feet. Yeah. Yeah, like some those volume problems or something. Yeah. Black bowler, so that's 7A, 7A plus. So this is the 38 and a half. <laughs> That's going to be painful to fall on small shoes. 
just like coming off my foot. Yeah. It looks. It's useless. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking useless. Fall, no. <laughs> Is it nice to wear big shoes after that? That's really Those nice, yeah. Clothes. Or do I have to wear them baggy? Yeah, you should wear them baggy. I should wear them baggy yeah. rather than just like cranking them up. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of movement of the foot in the boot though. But now you also have a bigger surface area because the yeah, shoes a lot bigger are bigger. Yeah, surface area, yeah. It's so weird climbing uh, in this rubber because I don't yeah. like trust it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rental shoe rubber is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> God, good, good boots make a difference, yeah. <laughs> don't they? They're just sliding all over the place. Oh, I can go, yeah, that one. Well, I forgot I had... Um, you had a lot more tries now in the big shoes. I have, yeah. So, uh, we should but that's also the benefit of having big shoes, you want to climb longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to climb more. Oh, what? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah, that would... You got a little bit further. You got a bit further. Now you want to try your own size, 42? Yeah, medium size, yeah, 42. I'll go for that. These feel more like climbing shoes now. Well, let's see. Oh, straight away. What? <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, that's good. You couldn't do that earlier. Nice. It's, it's so much harder in rental shoes yeah. than normal climbing boots. Yeah, yeah. I could notice the difference yeah. between the big and the tight and yeah. the average just size. Probably sliding around in the big ones and the small ones are just too uncomfortable and they force your feet into like a strange position. Yeah. So the tightest shoes aren't always the best. No. So the myth is busted. The myth is busted. So the next one is Brits are notorious for sandbagging. <laughs> Okay. What do you what do you say? What's your immediate reaction to that statement? Uh, I would say Brits do have a tendency to sandbag things. Okay. Yeah, I think they do. Yourself included, or? Um, sometimes when I think back to things, I think like, oh, maybe that was a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> but like at the time, I try not to. Um, Why do it's you not like an I don't intentionally sandbag because I think that's a bit mean. Yeah. Like I don't like you don't want to. Yeah, of course. You know, get somebody into the, a bad position. Well, or, why do you think that is? Sandbagging. I think it's just because you have a lot of uh, history, climbing long climbing history, and before the climbing grades used to be a lot harder. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that kind of sticks with mm. you still. Yeah, like a lot of the grades that were done in the, the climbs that were done in the fifties and sixties, yeah. that were given those really lower hard grades. Grade. Yeah, really hard for the grade, and they've since been upgraded and stuff. So. Yeah. So how we're gonna put this to the test is that I'm gonna give you a problem, you're gonna try it and you're gonna grade it, and I'm gonna see if it's actually harder or easier. Okay. According to the gym's grades. This is uh, pretty tricky, so I guess it's your style too. And actually, I set that one. If it feels soft, then it's my fault, I guess. Think? If I was grading that, be completely honest now. A three. Okay, so the myth a is confirmed. A V three. A V three. <laughs> a V three. V three, not a three. Not a three. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, V three. And I thought that was a tough V three. Yeah, six, let's say six A plus, six B. Six A plus. Okay, it's actually six B, six B plus. Good there. Yeah. So, I, I guess it's confirmed a little bit. Yeah, six six B stroke plus. <laughs> okay, so you're, yeah. you are a sa sandbagger. <laughs> Next myth. <laughs> So the next one is that brushing holes is pointless. I've seen this actually in the comments. People are like, why do you brush holes? I mean, you chalk up, so it must be good that they're actually chalk on the holes. 
so we're gonna actually put this to the test because we don't want to take anything for granted. We're gonna be scientific here. So this one right here, that's a good hole to test it on. So right now there's a little bit of chalk on it. I'm gonna put a little bit more. If I use my thumb, it's okay. So I'm not gonna use my thumb. Okay. Yeah, that's like one and a half seconds. Yeah. Two seconds. And then I brush. This is a nice brush. Yeah. It's your brush, right? Yeah. It's a huge difference. Yeah? I'm not using it's my It's really that much difference? Yeah. Incredible. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Pull up some of this now. Yeah, there you go. And I'm not using the thumbs. I actually didn't expect it to be visibly that different. No, me neither. But we put a lot of chalk on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But do you want to explain to the viewers why that is? Like with the, uh, the, with the chalk. <laughs> in a very scientific way. <laughs> in a very scientific way. Well, uh, the myth, but the, the, that myth is busted. I mean, we were both surprised how much of a difference it made. Yeah. If you've got loads of chalk on the holes, it actually fills in all these little, like micro frictiony divots. Like, it like gets away, uh, rid of all the friction on the hold. Yeah, like the pores. Um, yeah, like the pores in the yeah. in the actual hold. Thank then, you for that scientific yeah. explanation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very scientific, yeah. That, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the one that I need to show my parents because if they're down the climbing wall mm. and I, like, I don't really feel like they give the holes a proper, like yeah. a proper brush, <laughs> but then sometimes I come in and give them like a, a proper brush. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I just. So you gotta show this to your parents. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like I feel like I need to. Like brushing holds, it does make a big difference. It does make a difference. It makes yeah. a big difference. It gives you that extra like ten percent. Yeah. Some people they're just they're just a bit like that. Yeah, yeah. That's not enough. No, you gotta you gotta get in there. <laughs> yeah. And you need a good brush. Too. And you need a good brush. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Okay, so the next myth that we are going to have a look at busting is that liquid chalk is more sticky than normal chalk. I mean, I do think liquid chalk feels more sticky mm -hmm. for like one, one go on the hold. Some liquid chalks have like a, a resiny stuff in them, mm -hmm. don't they? Which makes them a bit more tacky and, yeah. and sticky. Can I brush it? I don't know. <laughs> is that science? <laughs> I don't think anything we're doing today is science. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. That's good. It's a little bit about strength, but let's just see how you yeah, do with... I mean, uh, it, I was sliding. Yeah, it looked it. like it. Yeah, yeah. I think with a little bit worse friction, you might just slide right off. So, yeah. so now you removed all the chalk from your hands, and now you're only going to use liquid chalk. Yeah, just liquid chalk. I feel like this could be good. You think you're gonna do better? With I think I might do. Yeah, I'm feeling positive. It feels sticky on my hands. Okay, so 15 seconds is the time Was to it beat. 15? 15. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it's coming off. Yep. It's not as good. It's busted. <laughs> it's busted. Yeah. <laughs> the next myth is that using chalk on wet holds is worse. Yeah. Because they're it, not using. Chalk. They're not using chalk at all. Yeah. So if the hold is wet, uh, you should not chalk up. You should not chalk up. Yeah, and that's something that doesn't happen a lot in the gym. But when you're outside, there's actually quite a lot of wet holds. Yeah, like and, if like seeping limestone or something. Yeah, you know? and I've started climbing, and then it started raining in the middle of it, and I've been close to the top and had to top up while it was raining and stuff. And you didn't chalk up. I didn't chalk up. No, yeah, because. But I really wanted to. Uh, and now we'll see if that was a mistake or not. Yeah. Did you do the route? I actually did do the route, and it was Papi Chulo too. So it was oh, a yeah. pretty hard route, like 9A+. <laughs> it started raining at the top. It started raining at the top, and it's just, there's a slabby cross at the yeah. top. Yeah. And I was freaking out, because I've been working on that route for like two weeks, and I was going back home the next day. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the most epic I've had, climbing outside on a route like that. Um, oh, that's, that's cool. So yeah. that's why I wanted to test this today. So all these years later, we're going to find out <laughs> yeah, whether you should have finally. actually chalked up and you could have just relaxed. In the name of science, <laughs> yeah. we're actually going to come to the bottom of this and yeah. figure it out once and for all. Norwegian rain, Bergen rain. Yeah. <laughs> so I've washed my hands. Now they're completely clean. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they're not completely dry because they're going to get wet as soon as I touch the hole anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, one hand. Oh, 
That was like two seconds. Yeah. But were you slipping or were you just giving up? Slipping. Out? You were slipping? No, definitely slipping. If the friction was better, I would, I would dominate it. <laughs> I could hold it like this, but that's cheating. So I have to hold it straight. Yeah, it's like two and a half, yeah. three, two, two to three seconds. Okay, now we try with chop. Okay, what do you think? Do you think it is going to be better? Because I, I have a little theory for this actually. Okay. And that's using chalk once on a wet hold yeah. is actually okay. But yeah. it's when you put it on and re-chalk with a wet hand. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. That it's was easier. definitely better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. So I guess the myth is busted. So we just cool. have one left. There you go. You should the have chalked. The most important one. <laughs> I should what? I was going to say, you should have chalked up on the uh, Papi Yeah, I should yeah. have. <laughs> so the last one is tops off for power. And I think you should try that one because I'm biased when it comes to that. So you're saying when you take your top off, you get more power. You get more power. You can try the yellow one that you barely did. Oh, yeah. If you do it first try now without a shirt, yeah. I would say that it's confirmed. Okay. If you fall, it's not. Okay. So you have one try. I have one try. Yeah. Tops off for power. Tops off for power. Yeah. Yeah. So this one took you... Well, like four, four or five attempts? Four or five time. attempts last time. Yeah. Maybe it's like a mental thing, you know? It's yeah. like taking the top off. I it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like, a mental thing, but... It's like, yeah. Oh, I'm doing the old pool. Okay, well. I, <laughs> I, got, I got confused because I started doing the old, like the, the eliminate problem. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you were starting to talk. I was like matching talk on the in the middle of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, one more try. Yeah, that's I really that was want, disappointing. I, I really want myself. you to confirm yeah. this yeah, myth, sorry. so. I can confirm it for you. Yeah, good. <laughs> no. Sorry. Oh well. I didn't confirm it for you. You didn't confirm it, so that's... Uh, <laughs> it might be placebo, but... Shall I try it now with the top on? Because then that would be the real... That's... Then it's really broken. <laughs> or would that be too... That would be too, that's, too bad. That's pretty bad. That's <laughs> like taking a shit on the myth. <laughs> taking a big dump on the myth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> well, yeah, that's, uh, good. <laughs> uh, I felt I felt stronger with the top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think though, even though we did this, I mean, it was kind of jokingly. I think we got some interesting results. Yeah, yeah especially yeah. like the brushing thing yeah, and the chalking, and the chalking, wet mm. holds, liquid chalk. Yeah. Uh, and warm and cold shoes. I was surprised by that one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a that was a definite one. Surprised about mm. a lot of things actually in this video. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you Myths. go. Myths busted. Busted. Some of them at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.